Hi, we've got the 60mm roll of film that's exposed, we've read the camera sheets, we know what we're supposed to be doing with it. So the first step is to go into the dark room and make it up in total dark conditions. This film has only been exposed to light within the gate of the camera. Obviously what we have to do then is treat this in total dark conditions all the way through until it gets into the bleach in the processing machine by which time it's no longer light sensitive. So the first thing we'll do before we turn the light off, we're just going to take the tape off the cans and prepare them in the light conditions. This is the magazine that all the film rolls of exposed material are going to be put into, which is light type photomat magazines prior to processing. So this is what we're going to be doing in the dark now. The first thing we will do is to check that the emulsion is the correct way that it should have been in the take-up in the camera. We'll actually just apply a little bit of moisture to it because the emulsion side, which is the exposed side of the film, should be obviously uh, on one side and not the other. So in this case we're all fine. So we put the exposed material on this plate. We will join the tail of this exposed camera roll of material. Do some white spacing that we've prepared on the take-up spool of the magazine. So this is made with a specific waterproof tape, specifically made for this purpose. And we check in total dark that we've covered equally both sides of that splice join. That the join is secure and there's no perforation damage or nicks anywhere near that. So then we take up the slack and then we're going to ride through this exposed roll of film in total dark conditions, applying a very slight amount of pressure between thumb and finger to each edge of the film. And the reason for this is to check for any nick perforations, any issues that may have happened in camera, um, and to make sure that the material is going to be fit for going through the processing machine without any issues. It's rare to find anything, um, but it is a check that just has to be done because one can't allow any film with any physical damage to actually go through the processing machine. So we come to the end of that camera roll, there's no damage to perforations that were detected, luckily. Um, obviously th there's a lot of responsibility attached to any of, the, any of the jobs that affect physically handling exposed film. There's no margin for error basically, you cannot get it wrong. This is almost ready, so what we're going to do now is we can, we can assume that, I mean this was just one camera roll, but normally we'd make up up to four or five camera rolls up to about 2,000 feet, which these magazines uh, accept. And then we'll load this into the Photomec light type magazine. And there's a light trap in the bottom of this magazine that the film feeds through, obviously, which just ensures that the whole environment is light type. OK, so that's all to safety in the magazine. Put the lights on. So that rolls in the magazine, so it's ready for processing.